In this lesson, we will have practice about Eloquent. I decided to make a mini project which will show a few places of Eloquent which are for beginners, but some of them we covered in this course. So this will be a mini blog uh, based on Laravel default uh, structure. Uh, we can show the article, we can view the article, we can search, search by keywords, search by categories or tags, and then we can add a new article. If we are logged in as author and you can put in title, text, categories, tags and image. So let's do that step by step. I've created that uh, project, mini project, I will upload it to GitHub too, uh, publicly, uh, but I will comment one by one what have I done and step by step how I created the project. So first, this is my terminal which I've done just this morning, started with just installing Laravel, just Laravel new, uh, project name Laravel, that's it, then env file was updated for database, and then I started with the models. So models, three basic models, category, tag, and article. So that's what I needed. Categories are here, tags are here, and article is here. How does it look in the code? So the command, artisan command make model minus m uh, created a model with migration file. So let's take a look at category as an example. The structure will be really simple, so category has a name, tag has also a name, and article has little more fields, user ID, which is author, title and article text. So this is the basic structure and for article we will also create min minus MCR, mean, MCR meaning uh, cre uh, create controller, resource controller, which means we will add an article, show the article, so we need that CRUD uh, functionality. So for that we also have the controller here which is this one article controller and it's index create store and show uh, and some methods are empty. I won't create the full blog here uh, you can finish that if you want but I will take the main points here and let's move on one by one. So with migrations they are also pretty simple so categories has a name and everywhere by the way everywhere I try to use soft deletes by default in all my projects or my team's projects because you never know what uh, clients will screw up or delete by mistake by accident and it's really it paid off in the in the past in my experience to be able to recover some deleted entries so categories with soft deletes Tags also with soft deletes and articles with foreign key to user, which means author. That's also simple. Next, what we did was uh, seeding the categories. I didn't make categories crud here just for simplicity, but let's repeat how seeders work. So I've created make seeder, so this command make seeder, and then I've fill it in with categories, just four categories I've come up with. Uh, and then in main database seeder, I've just added the class for seeding. So that is done. Uh, then probably let's get to, I have a list here, um, foreign keys, right, that's done. Migrations, models. Now let's take a look at the model structure for all of those. Uh, fillable is important part which we've covered so if you want to have category create in the code in controller somewhere uh, don't forget to fill in all the fields uh, then relationships uh, category has many articles not has many belongs to many so uh, one by one so article will belong to author but will have uh, will belong to many categories or tags and later I will explain the difference between categories and tags. For those of you who are familiar with WordPress, that would be pretty simple. But in general, category is like menu item or like broader category for article and tag can be anything, any random, random tag for that particular article. But in both cases, it will be many-to-many -many relationship with belongs to many. So categories and tags here. And in each of those models, we also have belongs to many back to articles in case we need to uh, 
get the query from category articles, like articles by category. That's the one. Uh, then I use soft deletes everywhere in the model. So uh, in addition to having soft deletes here in the migration, every model will have use soft deletes here and use here. So that is covered. And then pivot tables. Also, I've created for, for many to many relationships. For those, uh, I needed to create uh, with uh, artisan commands, so article category. So the table with just two fields and two foreign keys and similar article tag. Right, okay, let's move on. And then Cedar I've covered. After that, I've done my grade C. Uh, a few times in, in this project while creating it, I've run my grade, my grade C. So this was the first time. And then after a few changes, I've run my grade fresh C. So my grade uh, this one, migrate fresh seed, which deletes all the database and seeds it uh, from from scratch, basically. Let's get back to this one. Uh, now let's get into the visual part. So I've created this one with uh, artisan make auth at first, and then I've used uh, registration to register one author. So I've registered as Portalus as myself. Uh, what I've changed here also from the default, let's close everything and let's start from what we actually need. <clears throat> in routes, I've made some changes. So uh, route resource articles will cover the CRUD for article and then home page will redirect uh, automatically to the articles index, which is articles list. And also in login controller and register controller, I had to change this from home to specifically home page, which is uh, main URL. So this in register controller and in login controller. So those two changes I've made. And now we can get to article controller list. So list of articles, how does it work? Uh, article controller has, article controller has function index uh, and this one, this part I will cover a little later. So for now, uh, we load article with relationships, so eager loading, and you can load more than one relationship as array. Then you do order by like newest article and then paginate by three. Uh, and you load articles index blade, which is pretty simple for else. Uh, well, it's for each, uh, not sure if you know that command in blade, so for else empty which uh, replaces if if exists or if count. So we load every article. Uh, this is the image. I will cover it a little later. So link to the article, uh, sub, substring for first two, 200 characters of the article text, author, author name, and then categories and tags links, which look like this. I will later show how I've done it. Or actually, I can show it now. So categories links, I've decided to make it an uh, attribute of a model. So accessor uh, article, article PHP. Uh, this is the one. And this is a thing that we've covered uh, in the course. So eloquent collections, function map, and some magic here done by chaining the collection methods. So relationship get then map every category and every category will become a link uh, to route with that category id and implode by one character uh, which is delimiter and if there's no category return none and this is the result so one category or no tags for example in this case it's pretty similar uh, methods with just categories or tags uh, so we've covered the list. This is how the list looks. Now let's go to adding new article. What I've done in the app blade PHP in the top bar, uh, Laravel by default registers uh, this menu item and I've added one new sub menu item in a dropdown. In addition to logout, I've added this. Just simple, same class, articles create and it leads to this one, no, not store, uh, to this one. This is pretty simple. List the categories and then viewing the create blade. 
Now let's close it up again and open what we create, blade PHP. Again, it's a simple form uh, leading to article store, posting to article store uh, route. This one is for images. Uh, we will cover that part later and then simple article title, article text, and then categories listed as checkboxes. And that's the difference between uh, categories and tags. So this is the form. Categories will be pre-selected and you know the categories and tags you can enter anything. So let's enter fifth article. Let's generate some dummy text from lipsum.com. Five paragraphs of text. Well, let's take two paragraphs, whatever. Article text, some category and tags should be, for example, audio, uh, history, whatever. Uh, let's add the image. Save the article. And it's here, our new article. Now, how it looks from store perspective. So in store, here it is. I uh, have two things basically. Store article request is for validation, so title and article text is required. And if it's not filled in, there is a separate section to show errors here in Create Blade. Then if, it, if it's valid, then it's creating article. And that part is pretty important. It's automatically adding user ID from the session. So that part is covered. Then we add uh, categories and tags. And this uh, is pretty different code. So both use uh, attach as many-to-many -many relationship function. But tags, we have little different logic. So we explode uh, all the text values in the, in the tag uh, input field. Uh, we have array here. And for each of the array, we're doing first or create, which means it will uh, get the first tag by that name or create and then return it. And then we can do attach for that tag. So it's a little more complicated. And here we upload image. I will cover that uh, a little later with images. Uh, and that's it. We redirect back to articles index. And yeah, we have article with all the tags. Next topic is sidebar. So the part on the right side. So categories and tags and how to, how to view that, how to filter that and search. So in article controller, we have uh, in our index, we have this. So we list all categories on all tags. It could be potentially moved to some uh, additional layer or in session somewhere to pass to every possible view. But for simplicity, we have this. So all categories and all tags. And in index blade, we have include article sidebar with MD4 bootstrap class and in sidebar, it's pretty simple. Search for articles uh, by index. Uh, so, so basically three routes, three links uh, that would lead to the same articles index with additional filter. So this will add a query filter, uh, this will add category ID, and this will add tag ID. And how does it look from article controller point of view? This is when we use one sentence. Uh, it's really uh, convenient to use query when with Eloquent Builder uh, instead of doing if exists, if this, if that. We're just continuing the same query, kind of filtering it and uh, doing case by case basis. So when request category ID exists, then we add the function uh, to query. And here we use where has with many to many relationship. It sounds or looks pretty complicated, but uh, just follow the Laravel documentation and you will understand it. So query where has categories with ID, uh, request category ID. Uh, really similar with tag, almost identical, and a little different with query, we just add where title like uh, request query. And it works pretty well. So we click news and we should see only the news articles. So fifth, second, and first. And oh, by the way, we have pagination here. Didn't I tell you that? Uh, so just to see, we have pages here and it's achieved really simple with paginate three. And in index blade, we have articles links. Uh, so yeah, back to this thing, uh, tags one, 
one article with breaking, two articles with video tag, and if we enter fourth here, it will add query fourth here and filter what we need. So this is how you can filter uh, records by cases in the same query. One of the final things is the link to the actual article. So if we go here, to fourth article, it uh, by route resource, it belongs to show method. And in show method, it's again, it's pretty simple. So show article, we load the relationship, eager loading, so we wouldn't uh, call additional queries. Then again, we load all categories or tags. As I said, it could be moved elsewhere or in constructor somewhere. Uh, and we show blade here. Show blade, uh, we show the article, we show probably the same thing as in index uh, with just full article text, some magic for uh, page breaks, not line, line breaks, and then include the same sidebar, so no magic there. Uh, final thing what I want to uh, kind of uh, explain is uh, Spotty Media Library, which I use for images. How does it work? Uh, I've installed the Spotty Media Library. Yep, here Composer Require. Then, then what? Then uh, uh, publish the vendor migrations, artisan migrate, and it creates art uh, uh, media table, media database table, which looks like. Uh, Wait, I have to refresh it here. Yep, media table, it exists, which looks like this. It uses polymorphic relations, which also we've covered throughout this course. And the code here is pretty simple, one line. If request has a file, we add media from request, main image, which corresponds to this name of the input. We add the media to the media table and to storage folder and we add it to collection main images which means collection name here and then we can filter by that collection so for example if article has like featured images or other collections you can use that field and then in the model we do some magic by spotty media library uh, we use these three things so implements has media use has media trait and then we also specify what thumbs to generate so what typical sizes we need for every image so it would generate a named thumb file with 200 by 200 pixels and then main 6 by 2 so that is uh, where we call an in index we call first media URL thumb and in the main article we call main so it should be bigger uh, than 200 by 200 so this is the main logic how this image works or you can potentially resize it, crop it, some do, do some more magic. It also is covered by the package. Basically that's it. A uh, simple blog which I've covered just step by step. Of course it took much longer for me to actually create but I wanted to save some time for you uh, to not live code it, it for two hours. Just uh, explained the results in like 20 minutes. I will upload it to GitHub, as I said, and I hope it covers at least some parts of our Eloquent course and you'll have some practice here or you can extend the project to, to use even more Eloquent magic.